hello, this is Leon Dale again, and I'm feeling nostalgic. I would like to show you just one of the old cameras in my collection. Introducing the Minolta SRT201. Of course, it was uh, preceded by the SRT101, and the differences between those two cameras is the addition of the uh, hot shoe over here. Um, this is a splendid camera. Old school film camera built like a brick. As you can see, there are no bevels really on this thing. It is a rectangle with, <laughs> with a lens on the front. And the lens is not exactly centralized. It's slightly off to the left right there. And that's about as frivolous as the makers of this camera ever got. Um, there is a, a uh, aperture stop down, so you can preview your aperture right down here, which is splendid. I don't see that very much on modern day cameras. But you can see the way the logo is printed. I'm not sure you can see that there. Can you? How it just says Minolta. All lower caps. It's a really no-nonsense machine. No no frills or, or, or anything. Um, well, this camera was brought out 1975. I wasn't around then. That's two years before I was born. It cost around about that time $268. It's full mechanical. It's Japanese. And of course on here a fixed 50 millimeter lens. And um, a fixed 50 has so many advantages. Because it's a fixed lens with no moving parts and very little glass, the aperture goes all the way up to 1.7 and that alone is a tremendous advantage. However, the other advantage is not so um, obvious, which is that because you can't zoom in, you're forced to walk towards or away from your subject and you learn a lot realizing that you have to jump in the action sometimes with a fixed 50. You have to get close, you can't hide from your subject matter and um, so using these fixed 50, sometimes you leave the house with a fixed 50 lens on and being forced to use it and its restrictions makes you a better photographer in the end. It gives you a better eye, it forces you to frame and compose uh, a lot easier than, than zooming in and out. Um, it was discontinued in 1981 and um, really it's just one of the best. You can see right here a, uh, the dent on this lens. You could drop these things. You see this rope. I used to carry this thing around me all the time, everywhere I went. Just like that. And if I got into a fight, I could take this thing off and use it as a freaking slingshot. And you could beat the crap out of somebody's face with this thing. I could turn around and take a photograph. This thing will still work. Um, you know, it's got this little, little sink right there, the synchronized flashes, which is probably, you know, useful even though it does have a hot shoe. Anyway, the Minolta SRT 201, a workhorse. I'm glad to have had such a long and lustrous relationship with this camera. Mwah. Anyway, thank you very much and I'll see you next time I feel nostalgic. Bye bye.